Hi there. In this video we cover pillars and in particular how to place pillars on foundation edges and corners. First, let's take a quick look at all the pillar types that are available in-game. While the base game includes a selection of pillars which are matching the available building sets, the majority of the more interesting pillars require a DLC to be unlocked. The Isle of Sipta expansion introduced two new building sets, which include the rather rustic Flotsam Pillar and the elegant Stormglass Pillar. Pillars are not only great at providing stability for additional floors or balconies, but can also add interesting accents to interior and exterior designs be it a simple decoration, defining a space, or breaking up an otherwise simple room layout. Pillars from previous DLCs offer great visual variety, from shapes to materials. The little details on the Yamatai pillars are really nice. The single pillar from the Architects of Argos DLC was released along three additional pillar variations. As you can see here, the three variations to the left are massive in comparisons to the single pillar and are rather used in combination with each other to create imposing huge pillars. Okay, enough of pillar designs, let's dive right into our building tips. By default, a foundation has one main snapping point for pillars, and that's in the middle as you can see here. I guess we all had moments where we wished there would be more options in order to be more creative. And they are. The first and easiest option is the possibility to snap a pillar to the non-corner edges of a foundation by using a staircase trick. In short, placing a staircase enables us to place a pillar at its top. This extends the possible snap points to 5 and you can of course remove the staircase afterwards. The only challenge, depending on your design, would be that the pillar is not flush with the foundation edge itself. Placing pillars on the edges of a foundation and not in the middle is great if you want to build some interesting exteriors. For example, here we opted for a veranda style design with multiple pillars that create an imposing front of the building and carry a large balcony. If you're planning to place fences on crenellated walls in between your pillars, a quick tip, you have to place them before building the pillars, or you won't be able to build them afterwards as the pillars seem to obstruct the building space. That brings us to the final option, corner pillars, and this requires a bit more work. To show you an example, here we had some fun building a small Argosian pool area. As you can see, we are using corner pillars on each side of the pool for a more interesting design. Having more flexibility when it comes to pillar placement definitely allows for a whole new level of creativity. As mentioned, corner pillars require a bit more work. That said, the trick works without any mods and can often easily be done at any point during the build. Now, our plan is to place corner pillars on the foundation to the right. To achieve that, we need to use two tricks, an offset trick in combination with the trick we just used earlier. To demonstrate this, we start with a staircase, two foundations from our target. Then we add a pillar and a ceiling on top of it. We then place another staircase towards our target followed by a pillar all the way down, which you can see hit the corner. Do note that this pillar might not always link up to your target foundation and might be destroyed when removing any of the surrounding foundations or ceilings, depending on what you're building with. If that happens, simply do the same trick again and most likely it will work. 
to hit any of the other corners, we simply build two ceilings on top like this and place stairs down from each side, as that will allow us to place offset pillars all the way down to the corners. When this is done, you can remove the support pieces without the corner pillars being destroyed. All in all, this allows for 9 snapping points for pillars per foundation or ceiling and a ton of options for you to get even more creative with your builds. We highly recommend experimenting with cheap building materials such as sandstone. Thanks to recent updates to the game, it's now possible to downgrade and upgrade between old materials. And this also works with pillars placed in this way, as you can see here. And just to confirm, these pillar placement tricks do survive a server restart. You'd maybe not want to rely heavily on such pillars to act as the main building support for a lot of things, though in theory they should be pretty safe. We hope we have managed to explain and show you these tricks in a clear way. Give it a go, it tends to become a lot easier to understand once you've done it yourself. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos, we have covered Conan Exiles for quite a while now. If you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and don't hesitate to subscribe and even hit that bell for future updates.